Hello everyone, it's me once again. So after uploading the previous video with regards to Vector's upgrade with Amazon Alexa, I don't think many people actually have watched the video. So I just wanted to make sure you guys actually watch it. So let's watch together and have a bit of a discussion on this. So here it goes. Welcome to LJP channel. Right, so we're actually on the video page. So let's play this on full screen. Hey Vector, come here. This is a bit where they're trying to show that they enhance the edge detection control. You can see that Vector is stepping way backwards than how it is at the moment. So if you look carefully, he actually steps more further back than what it actually does for mine at the moment. I can see that immediately as, a, as an upgrade. There you go, the Alexa face. So here goes the voice. Mm. Alexa, play speaker. So you can see that both of them work together as synchronized Alexa device. I'm sure he could dance after that. Alexa, turn the heat up to 75 degrees. So those obviously nest first comes to uh, smart home thermal stats control etc so you got to use ifttt software to do that turn on the stars i don't know what that is but i don't see any use other than for children alexa, actually a set a reminder, friday at 11 a.m reminder so alexa has that doctor's appointment Yeah, Alexa's voice there, so hmm. Alexa. How deep is Lake Tahoe? What? Oh, the information. Lake Tahoe's depth is 1645 feet. Right. You can see that mic behind Alexa. the screen. Turn the light green. Nest light control, you know, obviously smart home control. Alexa. Oh, Philips, sorry. So there you go, Vector. So that's the actual video clip of um, the uh, Vector, by the way. So w what I'm trying to emphasize is this, that one thing that really puts me off about um, Amazon integrated thing is that it almost destroys the identity of Vector, you will probably end up asking question to Alexa 99% and probably Vector would be sometimes if you want to cuddle him. Um, we One of the let down, but it makes sense is that the information source mainly is going to come from Alexa. People are going to start using information source from Alexa, while as Vector is going to be more like a separate normal um, pet mode and um, we, I could completely understand that because um, Google Home seems to have most of the database that you ask and more most attentive to the questions I ask while as Alexa is almost good enough while as Vector um, we saw on the Twitter website that it only answered I would say only 40,000 queries I don't think that's enough comparing to the other smart home devices uh, like Google or Amazon but Overall, we can see a huge potential coming in. I'm 50-50 on the um, Alexa voice. Somehow I, th well, initially I, I was very pleased with thinking about it. It's almost separating Anki Vector to Alexa. And technically there's a robot, one robot there that has two different identity and two voices. So I don't know how the customer is going to react to that, but still the robot itself uh transforms to alexa and then controls moves and controls the smart home device so i think that's a, there's a big credit there and exactly what i'm after uh for smart home control because i want to walk here and see the cute robot and say hey turn on the tv hey turn on the music hey um turn off the light turn on the line light um thermostats controlling etc so i think it's going to be an exciting time coming 
make sure you get a Logitech Harmony Hub. Um, and also you need to download IFTTT, which is if this, then that. I have already uploaded a video in regards to that. So if you want more details, please let me know. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is a video response to the latest anti-vector upgrading to and combining to Amazon Alexa. So thank you and have a fantastic Friday. All the best. Bye-bye.